Hello and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and this guy sitting next to me right here, you may recognize him from YouTube. He is a Motion Industries machinist, but he's also got a YouTube channel. It's ABOM79, and welcome Adam Booth, man. It is great to have you here on the show. It's good to meet you, I'm glad to be here. This is awesome. He's got like hundreds of videos over on that YouTube channel. You need to check it out. But this guy is an actual machinist, as I said, from Motion Industries, and uh, the show that he has there on YouTube, it's a Saturday Night Special series, right? That's one of my video series I have every every week, every Saturday, Saturday Night Special. That's and I try to throw in a few other videos here and there too of specific jobs. That's awesome, and he, like I said, he is a machinist. And so what exactly does a machinist do, so everybody knows out there? A machinist is somebody Somebody who uses machine tools to build parts, build components. So as an example, if somebody was to walk in and say, hey Adam, I need one of these, can you make one? Absolutely. I'll take You'd a make piece that of, from scratch. I would. I'd take a piece of bronze bar stock uh -huh. and I would machine this right here. Wow. Okay. What about this, uh, this right here? I would machine same that way. also. Same way. So any, any of these components that need to be made, that's my job is to build them. Okay, and uh, we have uh, we have a hydraulic piece right here on the table that uh, that we have we have one assembled and we have one in pieces. So now, where would we find something like this? Maybe uh, obviously in a factory somewhere, but could we find this on like maybe a backhoe or Absolutely. something like that? Yeah, any, anybody that's uh, ever seen any kind of heavy equipment such as a backhoe or a tractor mm -hmm. has hydraulic components on it. Okay, so. and, and somebody brings it in and says, hey Adam, um, my backhoe's not working, it's my hydraulics, mm -hmm. and uh, now, now you can actually make new parts for it, right, and put it back together? Yes, sir. So explain what we got going on here. So this is uh, this is the same cylinder here. This right. is one that's together, and this one's broken down into com components. So, you know, when a cylinder comes in, obviously it comes in, it needs to be repaired. So we have to tear it down and inspect it and find out what's wrong with it, and then once we do that, we either have to, uh, we, we have to build new parts for it a lot of times, such as a rod or a piston. This is your seal gland. So a lot of times we have to build one of those. Mm -hmm. or, or you can buy one of these from the manufacturer in some cases. This would be your barrel or your tube. And sometimes these are scored really bad or have excessive wear, so mm -hmm. these need to be replaced. Okay. Okay. And then these are your, your tie rods here. Sometimes we have to build tie rods because your threads get stripped. Now, when people bring this stuff in, obviously, for you to build or repair, what's like the major problem that you encounter? People come in, you know, this is, it, it's not working, and you go, well, this is the reason why. Well, what's the main reason, and people don't, don't understand why this stuff breaks down? One of the common problems is oil contamination, okay. and oil contamination in the systems, and it gets in your cylinders, and it starts wearing out your metal-to-metal -metal fits there, or wearing your seals. Sometimes we get cylinders in that just, the seals themselves, are bad, they're deteriorated, and they're falling apart. So you can just replace the seal? Right, absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes we just replace the seals, and we can take all the other parts and put it back together and, and send them down the road. Now, you do have some tools here as well. Tell us how these tools relate to, to putting this cylinder back together. Well, these are these are my measuring tools here. These are my steric micrometers, and this is my digital caliper. Uh, these are my telescoping gauges and of course my, my six inch hook rule right here. Mm -hmm. And these are tools that a machinist has to use when they're building their parts. So whenever I'm building this rod gland right here, right. you know, you have to use your micrometer and say your telescope gauge so that you can measure the inside of that as you're boring it out, your grooves for your seals, things like that. Your calipers is something that you use for a quick reference whenever you're measuring different parts. So if I want to know what size this rod is, I'm going to come up and I'm going to measure it, and that's going to be a one-inch rod right there. Yeah, point nine okay. nine nine right there, right, right there the at it. So, but those are common tools that I use every day to do my job. Now, when, when you're doing all your videos, um, obviously, uh, I'm, I'm going to just assume that you use PPE as well, correct? I do. It's very important, and I always use my safety glasses. Yep, I got mine Any, as well. Any time I'm working, okay. even just doing bench work. I use my, my safety glasses. Okay. And then gloves are actually very important whenever you're working on hydraulic components here. Oh man, these gloves are so much better than mine. Mm, these they, are awesome. They, they give me the good ones to work in the shop. There. You, you take these hunting with you? Uh, I don't do any hunting. Yeah, I was going to say, there. I don't know, maybe you could direct traffic with them. So. You could, you could, but they don't let me out of the shop very much for that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's important to wear your gloves whenever you're working on any kind of fluid power system or, or hydraulic components. You do not want oil injection. It's a bad thing. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I injected myself with oil once. 
You did. I was and out you're for still a couple. Here. Yeah, I know. It's, Man, it's, <laughs> no, it's, I, I didn't do that. Well, no. listen, check out his series. Uh, Adam has got a series on YouTube. Look under A Bomb 79. You can see all his videos there. And you know where else they can find videos? MIHowto.com. We've got a whole Absolutely. bunch of videos there as well. well right. Hey, will you come back and do more? I will. I'll That's come back awesome. and do another video. Thanks, man. This yeah. is Adam Booth, otherwise known as ABOM79. I'm Tom Clark. I'm the host of the MI How To videos and also Tom's Toolbox. And just go to MIHowto.com and that's where you can find them. Thanks for stopping by today, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you having me. Awesome. Very cool. We'll see you next time.